You're on. We interrupt all radio and television programs for an indefinite period. Please keep your radio and television sets turned on. This is an emergency. I repeat, this is an emergency. Hello and welcome back to the Pitune Channel for another exciting episode. We're getting hundreds and thousands of uh, conspiracy theories sent into us. Uh, it's going to go on for about another week or so till we pick one out. A conspiracy theory that's going to catapult the Pitune Channel into the stratosphere on YouTube. <laughs> G'day Johnny, it's great to be back here for another uh, startling episode of Ask Johnny. <laughs> it's great to have you here too, Johnny, in our search for uh, the Pet Tune Channel's golden conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Johnny. What theories have you received overnight from some of our wonderful Pet Tune Channel followers? This one's from uh, Cantaloupe, and she's in Honduras. And hello to everybody in Honduras. The Pet Tune Channel is mighty big in Honduras. We'll get on to it. Johnny, Cantaloupe says, Johnny. I have sent you details of a government conspiracy. This conspiracy consists of a team of top scientists working on insects to mix the DNA of said insects with humans. This is being done to improve, in inverted commas, our senses and perhaps give us immunity to some viruses and other diseases. Please read my boxes of hard data on this subject, a subject I have dedicated my life to. Signed, Cantaloupe. P.S. The Pet Turn Channel is the most popular program in all of Honduras. Thanks, Cantaloupe. What do you think about that, Johnny? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the insect stuff, yeah. Look, there was boxes of it, Johnny, as you well know. Well, it took us ages to go through the bloody stuff. Oh, there was boxes of it, Johnny. Yes, it's an interesting theory. He reckons they're in a secret lab in the Philippines where they're working on insects, trying to split their uh, DNA up and mix it with humans. These are the sort of insects they're working on. I see. Yes. Jesus, what the hell is that? Now, Cantaloupe's main concern is this is what's going to happen if uh, the scientists fuck around with uh, insects too much and do so with absolutely no controls. We may be witnesses to a biblical prophecy come true, and thus there'll be destruction and darkness come up in creation. Or this, this is what happens when you fuck around with insects' DNA and mix in human DNA. <laughs> Sounds like bullshit to me, Johnny. Now, I only hope that we don't fall into the trap of uh, everyone so shit scared these days. Just let anybody do anything in the hope that they'll get some sort of bloody cure. Yeah, mix a bit of bloody praying mantis down, eh? We'll see what happens. Yeah, I've often thought of that myself. You get some grass off a of DNA and inject it into that old bloke. <laughs> yeah. But I thought about it a bit too, Johnny. And I reckon cantaloupe's only halfway there. I reckon the scientists were really trying to develop a full-size bloody insects, the size of humans, that they can use in battle. Into battle like, like a war? Yeah, can you imagine uh, us sending our boys and girls out there to fight in a battle? They're just running around like humans and then they come up against something like this. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I remember those movies. <laughs> they scared the shit out of me. So rather than fucking around with the DNA cantaloupe, I reckon they're uh, developing uh, human-sized ants and bed bugs and all sorts of fucking... Can you imagine a human-sized grasshopper? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the beasts shall reign over the earth. Prehistoric errors. Here is a wild headlong flight into terror as the desert erupts with the grim battle for survival. Oh, I may be trying to put them in the world's uh, police forces. Police force? Can you imagine if you were out protesting, probably about, I don't know, something stupid like clean drinking water, if you were out there protesting and you come around the corner with your peaceful mob and you're confronted by police officers that look like this? 
So Catalab, thanks for your information. Uh, I'm not sure we've got to worry about the fucking DNA. I think we've got to worry about uh, eight foot tall praying mantises and that dressed in army uniforms. Uh, and six foot bed bugs that uh, are going to be policing our streets. <laughs> six foot tall bed bugs? What you're about to see is a matter of human record. Explain it, we cannot. Disprove it, we cannot. We simply invite you to explore with us the amazing world of the unknown. Well, Cantaloupe put forward a very convincing argument there, but we've got another letter here, Johnny. And this one's from Wafer. And Wafer's in Iceland, and hello to everybody in Iceland, especially the millions of Pitune channel followers over in Iceland. Thanks for watching. But Johnny Wafer says, Johnny, I hear that human waste is being used to generate power in some buildings in South Korea. And the people there are being paid for the donation. What the hell is going on, Johnny? Will we be, in the future, paid for our waste? Please give us some clarity on this, Johnny. Signed, Wafer. What do you think about that, Johnny? Getting paid for uh, taking a dump? Yeah, getting paid for uh, taking a dump. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. We are ready for the latest in toilet technology. The cryptocurrency toilet. Finally, finally, we made it. Jesus Christ. Let's read from Reuters. <laughs> Using a toilet can pay for your coffee or buy you bananas at a university in South Korea where human waste is being used to help power a building. <laughs> uh, students can use the currency to buy goods on campus from uh, freshly brewed coffee to instant cup noodles, fruits, and books. Uh, the students can pick up the products they want at a shop and scan a QR code to pay with Google. Uh, quote, I had only ever thought that feces are dirty, but now it is a treasure of great value to me. <laughs> Postgraduate student Hei Hu Jin said of, at the Google market, I even talk about feces during meal times to think about buying any book I want. You know, you could get paid by the kilo. Well, it's all just going to waste, so to speak. Uh, if we've got power there, we can use it. We can harness the power of the turds. Oh, there was boxes of a joint to, uh, to electrify our buildings, our buildings and facilities. Uh, and I suppose you'd get paid by the kilo for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That, of course, could lead to a market value. I can see it now. Monetarise the turd, and I can see, yeah, uh, I can see it going through the roof and Wall Street. Right, yes, uh, people making a fortune, but that could lead to big cartels uh, coming in and dominating the turd market, though, putting the little man out of business, so to speak. <laughs> Do you think that's possible? But, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea for homeless people. To get a bit of ready cash, they're gonna take a dump somewhere instead of going out in the back of the park or down an alleyway. I see, yes. They can go to a set sort of station, uh, drop their load, Jesus Christ, and get a little bit of cash the same time as they're handing in their tin cans and bottles. Double that sounds like bullshit to me, Johnny. Yeah, well, everything's a possibility, Johnny. Uh, we don't want anything to go to waste. Could end up a bit like tobacco here in Australia. You know, in shipments, uh, shipments in the uh, black market. Been smuggled over waters. Oh, there was boxes of it, Johnny. Police crack a huge turd smuggling ring that was uh, threatening to bring in 66,000 tonnes of illegal turd to flood the market. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that'd have to be a standardised turd price, or it'll just be all hickledy pickledy. Uh, probably for the best bidder. Maybe a contract uh, price set by the governments in stone. Well, you never know what the government's up to. Yeah, I would like to see in some of these questionable countries people being kidnapped off the streets, probably Europeans and forced into sort of uh, squatting shitting camps where they have to produce shit on a daily basis, no pay, poor conditions, never see in the daylight until their families would find them completely unrecognisable. <laughs> yeah, what a lot of bloody claptrap I've come up today with on uh, the Petune channel. Uh, join us next time. It's goodbye from everyone here.
at the Pitcoon Channel.